Hey guys, welcome back to part three. We're going to go ahead and reassemble the rest of the seat. If uh, you want to see how we got to this part of the install, check out part one and part two. That gets us down to here. Hunter, go ahead and throw the seat up here and we'll uh, finish bolting this thing back up. And a quick little note when you're carrying the seat, if, you, if you're moving it on and off the bench, uh, there's a plastic rail right here in the front that, that houses all the motors for the, for the power controls. Don't grab a hold of this plastic part. We always grab a hold of this steel part right here. Get a rag so you don't cut yourself again. It is sharp. If you pick it up by that, you could, it'll, it'll break. It's real easy and it'll snap and you never got to get the gears back on there right. Yep. Go like that. Get this back on and connect all the electrical controls, and we'll show you how we make the cuts for the control panels. At the, and at the bottom, at the bottom here of the uh, seat bottom right here, there's there's two little plastic tabs that fit in the grooves. You should already seen that when you took the when you took the seat out of the truck. But again, just line those those two little knobs up. <clears throat> and then go ahead and pull these bolts. Right here through those holes, get your... Here's the... Get the nuts right right, here. You got them over here. Here's your 13 also. All right. Put those two nuts back on there and tighten them down. And also make sure when you're, when you're setting the seat and before you tighten it down that you haven't pinched any wires underneath here between, you know, a couple of frame rails. Just keep all the wires free. You'll instantly know if you uh, missed any of the clips, any of the power clips underneath. Uh, once you got the seat back in the truck and you plug it all up, start the truck up and drive around for a minute, your, uh, your airbag sensor light will go off. Once, if you see that light go on on your dash, there's nothing really wrong with the airbag. It just means one of the connections underneath is wrong. It doesn't mean it necessarily is the connection that deals directly with the airbag. Any connection that's undone or loose will cause the airbag sensor to go off. So if you see that, just pull the seat, go through and check all your connections, make sure they're all snug and tight. And, uh, and it'll, that light, that sensor will go off. All right, just finishing up the, the connections that we had to take off to get the bottom off. Reconnecting the seat heaters over here to the side. Those are that little that little green and black plug um, on the side when, that you took off. Those are, that's what the seat heaters are. Oh. <clears throat> All right, that should be that should be the last one. All right, go ahead and flip this up. Now it's time to make the cuts for the side, uh, the electric control right here. Now this is the part that everybody worries about, but there's there's really plenty of room uh, that with the plastic panel that covers it. Um, just take your time, go slow. We always tell people it's kind of like a haircut. You obviously can't put any more back on. Is what I do is I start here right in the center. I'll just take scissors and poke them through. And I'll cut a line right here. And I'll also have a control panel right here handy so you know, you know how far forward, how far back you need to go. And when you're lining up the panel to see how far forward or back, if you tilt the seat up, you can see on the underneath side of the frame, there's a small metal pocket uh, where all this, this part of the, of the all the control module sits in, so there's a metal frame that goes around this outer perimeter, so you can see, you can also see where these little posts are going to line up where the screw holes are, so you can tilt it up on its side and you can see exactly where it is, so you, you can kind of make some more precise measurements when you're, when you're cutting. There's also two layers, you got the, the side paint panel which is vinyl, the behind it you got the quarter inch foam, so um, it's sometimes hard to cut through both of them, so if you, if, once you make it a, a small slit in there and you get the hole started, you can kind of you can grab the foam on the underneath side and cut a big chunk of the foam out, trim the foam out, and then you can come back and make, make some more precision cuts in the vinyl. But clearing out some of the vinyl, some of the uh, foam in the background gives you a little bit more room to, to work in there because with uh, the vinyl and the foam, it, it, it kind of clogs up the hole there. So if you trim some of that yep. foam out, you get a little more room to, to work. Yeah, and this is what he's talking about. I just, you know, the vinyl's up here, but the foam down here, just trim that out. This way, when you're sitting down on the seat, when the panel's back on, you're not going to have the top or bottom lips, you know, from the compression here pulling out of the side of the panel. So you, you can always have a lot it. of extra overlapping vinyl still fold into that pocket once you, with the, when you screw the panel control panel back in. 
as long as you get the, the foam cut out, you're going to be in good shape. It's just going to be way too tight to get it back in there if the foam's still in the, behind the vinyl as well. All right, and then your, your screw your screw holes right here, you'll be able to see the post. Um, you can also look behind here once you get a little bit started to see exactly where those screw holes are. So I'll just line it up there and then look forward and back saying, oh, okay, I need to cut another inch or so. Sometimes I may pick that panel up 15, 20 times and hold it up there and make a little cut. I may cut a half inch at a time, put it back up, cut a half inch at a time. Yep. Just little, little pieces. If you, if you feel like you're pulling it up a million times, it's fine. Just take it up as many times as you need to to, to make sure you got the right, right spot. All right, let's see about that. Right there. That should be good. So I'll come back and connect these two power connections here. You get the two, the one in the front and the back. Once you got them connected, you want to try to feed the front one in first. Um, so the back end will flare out and you'll push the front end under because there's a, there's a little lip on the front end that, that, that the plug needs to kind of get behind. If you try to, try to push it straight down, into the, straight into the hole on the side, the front, uh, the front plug will catch on a little part of the frame. So if you, if you tilt the back end out and kind of rock it in forward and then pull yep. the panel inside, it's going to go in a lot easier. It won't pinch all your wires on the front. Okay. Okay, you good there? Let's put the seat here. Get the Torx bit for you. Get that set up for real. And when you run your screws through the side, you don't want to tighten them real, real tight because it's just a small little plastic ring in there that's holding it. So if you, if you torque it in too much, you can snap the plastic on your, on your side panel. So you want to get it in real, just real hand tight. We can, we'll start it with this. We've done it so many times, we know, how to, you know where we need to stop. But if you want to take a, just a hand uh, Phillips or, or, or Torx, whatever your panel is, uh, just make sure you don't tighten them in too fast, too, too hard because you can, you can break the plastic tab on the inside of the... Uh, control panel there and then the screw won't hold it all. Yeah, I need to trim a touch more up here at the front. There we go. Yep. There we go. All right. And when you're running these screws in, don't run them in very hard at all. They don't, they don't take much to keep that panel on. And you also risk stretch, stressing or, uh, you know, cracking that side panel. All right. Okay. Here we go. To the seat. <clears throat> Hope this install video helped you. For other install videos, please check out our YouTube channel, The Seat Shop. If you got any other questions, feel free to give us a call at 214-710-2565.